Okay, greetings everyone. My name is Gerard, board member of the Iceland Arts Council. And I want to welcome you to the Boston Theater. It's a beautiful theater here. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon, and we have some very special guests for you. They're called the Colorado String Quartet. A group of ladies that is really, I've been listening to, to them perform and rehearse, and it's, you got to really be impressed by them. But no sense my telling you anymore. Suppose we go over and meet the ladies. Here they are right over here. Okay, right now we have. Hi, I'm Julie Rosenfeld, first violinist of the Colorado Quartet. Oh, okay. And. Uh, Deborah Lydia Redding, and I play second violin. Nice to see you all folks again. Okay, thank you for coming. Oh, I'm Marka Gustafson, I play the viola in the quartet. Okay, and. And Katie Schleich, your cellist, the Colorado Quartet. Okay, great. Okay, tell us how did you guys meet and, and what brought the group together? Long, long ago and far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think as, mo as a lot of young quartets do, they find each other when they're still students or mm -hmm. graduate students. At this, at our, you know, we were basically finishing our graduate work before you get committed to like a job, a real job or something. You find each other and then if, if you're able to have success at the beginning so you can support yourselves, I mean, school is one of the ways that a young quartet can support themselves is by being a fellowship quartet or a Graduate. Well, you know, I, I noticed you're all in strings, your violins, viola, mm -hmm. and what yeah. have you. I mean, you know, why this instrument as opposed to learning the flute or, or, or the harp or something else? Was there something special about the violin and the viola and the bass that, that, that made you decide to take it? Yes. My okay. Mom played, the <laughs> My mom played the violin, and I just thought that was the thing to do. I just thought that people did that. Okay. <laughs> but your mom played the flute. How come you didn't play the flute? Well, there's something really special about a string quartet that these two could speak to more closely than me. But it's um, it's an incredible um, body of literature for for string quartet um, works of Beethoven and, and Brahms and Mozart and Haydn. There's a, there's a, an entire world written into the story. Well, well, you know, do you have to be into classical music to really appreciate these instruments like, like uh, what you're playing here today? No, no, absolutely not. You can enjoy this kind of music on all different kinds of levels, on a very exciting visceral level, on a very intellectual level, if you want to go that route, on a completely emotional level. It speaks, this music speaks to our deepest and innermost thoughts. Mm -hmm. and I think that's what really draws audiences to this repertoire. Okay. And, and the, the first piece that we're playing especially was written by Franz Josef Haydn, and it's, it's a, quite a populist piece, I would say. It was meant for people to enjoy and as entertainment, and it's, it's entertaining humorous. and fun and humorous, a lot of funny jokes in it. Okay. You know? And if you don't get the jokes, that's fine too, but it's, you know, it's a happy type okay. of, uh, of course, engage, engaging music. Yeah. Of course, we have your permission to put this on YouTube. Okay. One other question I'm going to ask, and no one can answer, all you can answer. What advice would you give someone about following their dreams and their goals? Do it. Yeah, well. Do it and suffer. <laughs> yeah, no, suffer, suffer the consequences. Yeah, if you found the thing that you must do that you can't do anything else, you're really lucky, even if it leads to starvation. Because <laughs> 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 you'll always have that thing then that you found. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It helps to know that you're good at the thing that you love to do. And oftentimes, being loving it um, produces yeah. some skill. Because, yeah. Okay, can you tell us where we can find you at on you, on, you, on uh, internet? Or if, if someone's watching you and want to know more about you, how can they get in touch with you? You can always go to our website, coloradoquartet.com. It's one word. Um, we, lo there, we have a couple of uh, YouTube clips at Dvorak. And we have a bunch of CDs for sale, including all of the Beethoven quartets. Okay. We're playing one of those pieces today, Ooh. Beethoven at his angriest oh. <laughs> and, and, and most tender, kind of showing the, the schizophrenic side of okay. Beethoven. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the Haydn quartet is so wonderful because it's at the very end of his career, and Beethoven is actually studying with him. So these first oh, two oh, okay. pieces are actually okay. related, teacher okay. and pupil. Okay. So um, Quite different. And quite different, mm -hmm. very different. Mm -hmm. But uh, we encourage everyone to, to go online and, and look up, you know, the, the pieces, our ensemble. And the, and the Debussy is, is just wonderful French Impressionist. We call it Impressionist because it was, it was, well, it's sort of influenced by the same things that influenced the French Impressionist composers. Painters. Painter, painters. <laughs> painters. 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 You know, uh, uh, sort of 
pale, opaque colors and not defined outlines and then color for its own sake. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Right. And impressions of things rather than really strictly visual. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I want to thank you all for coming because it's kind of time to get a little late. Okay. Uh, you can also find out more about the uh, Art Council. You can go to www.icelandartcouncil.org. On behalf of Ms. Lily and Murray Barbash, Ms. Linda Moran, our executive director, and all the board members and all the people who support and make this possible, we want to say thank you. And remember, dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. Never disrespect the elderly and always pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes, you're going to be the only one who can see your vision. We'll talk to you later. Peace.